And now live from the Snack Boy Studios in Laurel, Maryland, it's snack time. Hello and welcome to Snack Boy. I'm going to take you on a little snack journey. Come with me. My name is Tarek. It is 3.15 and we are coming at you from Laurel, Maryland from the Snack Boy Studio. And let's get into the first email question, shall we? All right, come on. Jump on this magic carpet. Let's go. All right, enough of that. Okay. This one says, and it comes from Diane in New Jersey, Dear Snack Boy, very enjoyable show. You seem to have an abundance of, of a lot of good female friends. But do you honestly believe that a guy and a girl can truly be friends, or is there always a sexual undertone to the relationship? Keep up the good work. Diane from New Jersey. Diane, you know what? You're, this email is perfect today, and let me tell you why. You're asking me basically about... Um, healthy relationships and sexuality. Well, I'm the wrong person to ask about a healthy relationship and friendship versus sexuality because right now, in the life of Snack Boy, I am having a drama that I have to share with you. That drama is there is someone in my life who should be a friend or even, let's say, a relative. And it's very, 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 very possible, Diane, that they want to be so much more. Today we're going to talk about my aunt. That right... That's right, my mom's sister, Jane. Okay, Aunt Jane, let's call her Aunt Jill. We already said Jane, we'll call her Jane. Her real name is Jane. My mom's sister, Aunt Jane, has, uh, let's just say, a, a healthy liking toward Terry. Of, uh, or should I say an unhealthy liking toward Terry. And it all began at the Crummett family Christmas party. That's right, this last Christmas we were all over. Even Grandma was, was you know, we dressed, her, we dressed her up in her favorite purple dress covered with, with flowers and, and took her out to the party. And Kenny had just brought his wife Kate around, I remember Kate? And we were all just having such a festive time. It was so, so wonderful. We were just all there at the same house. When Aunt Jane, I started to notice, had, well, let's just say a couple a couple of beers, and then she chased the beers down with a couple of wines, and then before you know it, she was sitting right beside Terry on the couch, and ladies and gentlemen, her hand started on the knee. That's right, and it worked its way up, and she would say, Terry, blah, 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 and that knee would creep up, I mean, it would go up from the knee toward the, toward the groin, closer to the groin, closer to the groin, and after a while, everyone noticed it, and I didn't know what to do, I was like, well, thinking, okay, I could take Aunt Jane's hand and I could move it down toward my knee or I could just push it off or I could be like, oh, you, Aunt Jane, and get up and go get a drink. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of trapped. It was getting closer and closer, and even my brother noticed, and he went, Aunt Jane, ooh, get off of Terry like that. He's your nephew. And she was like, <laughs> we're just playing, Kenny. <laughs> Aren't we, Terry? Anyway, since then, it's even gotten worse. Well, let's just say every time she comes over now, I feel like I need a restraining order, and I'm getting very... Let me describe Aunt Jane. She's got dyed red hair, very red, not just orange, but red, and she has a favorite t-shirt, kind of like I did in high school. Remember, I had that party animal, but hers says, Jesus saves, and it has a big cross on it, and it's yellow and purple, and uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I need you all to write into me. I need you all to tell me what to do with Aunt Jane, how to handle this, how you, if you have any stories about a friend or a relative that made you feel uncomfortable, as you know, Snack Boy is a five-minute show. So if I keep telling you the story of Aunt Jane, I'm going to lose more email time, more quality bonding time with you. I'm just going to move on. Okay. All right, I was asked a really good question. Someone in here asked me what my favorite TV show was. Let's, here we go. Here we go. This one is from... Uh, Oh, that's not it. Yes, 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 yes. No, it's not. Dear Terry, your talent for comedy and acting is the best I've seen. Do you see a movie career, possibly a sitcom in your future? I'm telling you, Terry, go bigger. The world needs to see Snack Boy. Keep up the good work from Luke in New Jersey. Luke, I would love a movie career. I would love a television career. Thus far, I've only done really corny projects. I, I shouldn't say America's Most Wanted is corny, except that one, I was on it the first time and I played a police officer, and I was on it the sec second time and I was a rapist. Uh, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I, I don't get out of studio much, and when I do, it, it confuses me. And as far as, I was also a kid on, can I also was Cancer Boy. That's right, I was Cancer Boy on television. I did a commercial where me and my brother had cancer, 
And, you know, I want to be on Friends or something bad. I believe there's enough art in the world. I want to be, be on something entertaining. Maybe the next Dawn of the Dead movie. If you can think of a good uh, vehicle for me to be in, please write home.